Alright, hello everybody. It is Monday, and that means it's time for some more Final Fantasy VI goodness. We have, along with us this time, Sin the Dark Body. I survived illness. You survived the illness. And, uh, we're gonna do some more dinosaur hunting. Because we really want at least one economizer. And you get economizers from dinosaurs. That's why our economy is in such bad shape right now, because we I don't mean, have dinosaurs anymore. Maybe? That could be part of it. But as you can see, the world of Final Fantasy VI has plenty of dinosaurs, and we all know that everything is going peachy here. Yeah. Well, there seems to be an unlimited number of them in this particular forest. For better or worse. An unlimited number of tyrannosaurs and brachiosaurs in this particular forest, which That's raises right. a lot of questions. Well, I guess it's pulled the offering off of Saban for some reason. Oh, you've got Realm in the party. I do. I don't think I've sat, up, sat through a playthrough with uh, you using Realm yet. Oh, well, I mean, she's got some of the best base level magic power in the game, so I figured it'd be good to get her some stuff. Unfortunately, I just kind of gave her the the cursed uh, the cursed shield, and I think I taught her Ultima, but that's basically it. Well, that's where my offering went. There it is. Celis has it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gave, I know I gave Saban the offering for a while in the last episode, but I can't remember where it went. It's like, oh, I gave it to. Yeah. She doesn't really need them, but... No, not the white cape. Don't give him the white cape. Friggin' garbage. Saban is the great saga man. What I was thinking about the other day? What? If I didn't have two screen names that I already liked, I would totally change my screen name to Slam Dancer. I mean, it's a good name. It's a, it's a it's good name. Probably my favorite villain in this game. Well, they're not even really villains, they're just basic enemies. But it is a good name. They both slam and dance. Well, they don't. The thing about what they do, right, is that they they cast they cast very dangerous spells for the part of the game that they show up in. I mean, at that point in the game, you've barely met enemies that have like um, you know fire one, fire two, or fire one, lightning one, ice one, and if if you meet them alone. When they have other people around them, they're not that dangerous, but as soon as they're alone, they start casting Fire 2, Lightning 2, Ice 2 really, really fast. And th that can nuke your whole party if you're, uh, if you're... Well, they can't help player. it. I mean, the movements of the Slam Dance just automatically cast that magic. I, I mean... You're not wrong. I mean, you can't just be a Slam Dancer and not Slam Dance. 
Well, you can, but it's inappropriate. Yeah, and you earn demerits. Yes. Slam demerits. I should go back to writing fan fiction. I'll write Diary of a Slam Dancer. It could be worse. It could be Confessions of a Slam Dancer. It'll end in tragedy when a small, wild boy from the from the Velt joins them, and they think that you know, he's, he wants to be a slam dancer with them and learn all their ways, and then he ultimately turns on them. Yeah. We're also Mach learned Exome. What's that? Mach just learned Exome. He did. It's a good spell. Oh, and she has Tirado, which gives her an HP plus 30% bonus on level up. So she just went from having, like, 3,900 hit points to 4,600 hit points. It's kind of ridiculous. We'll let her finish with that. Realm having the most hit points of anyone in the party is a rare occurrence. <laughs> finish your gelato, Realm. Give her the biggest hit points in the game. That's what I'm gonna do, basically. I mean, for now at least. No, not whirlwind. Just straight up whiffs and save it. Saban's a well-grounded guy. Japanese version for some reason. I don't think anyone knows why. Former military paramedic. Maybe. He was dishonorably discharged for, I don't know, suplexing people. Do not disparage the name of Saban. Whatever you say, Hawkeye and Trapper. I wonder if I can move spells around in this game. In Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4, you could move spells around in the, in the menu. And admittedly, I haven't tried it in this game. It seems like it would be convenient, considering that you have auto battle on. You cannot. It is a shame, but you cannot. Although... Everyone's top spell is slam dancing, even if that's not a spell in the game. that it won't put it at the top, it'll put it a little ways down. And I'd rather have, um, 
I'd rather have the cure spells easily reachable. So, that's too bad. Realm keeps breaking the fourth wall and waving at us. She is one of the better, um, like, battle star animations. The other thing I did last I like time... I she's a magic user, but she like, she's, like, putting up her dukes there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just tell her to fight, so she's gonna fight. Round one, paint! So the other thing I had done last time was I threw the Apple weapon on Celis, but she really should have a proper sword so she can do Runic if, if the opportunity arises. Oh, two more Tyrannosaurs. Pincher attack. The Brachiosaurus have a really low uh, show up rate, don't they? They do. Not only do they have a low show up rate, but they also have a, um, a rather irritating tendency to use a full party sneeze attack. So, like, you'll be fighting it, and it'll just be like sneeze, and the whole party just gets kicked out. And you just. You don't lose, you don't die, but you don't win either. And you can go look for another one. Oh, I'm getting to level again. She now has 4,700 uh, magic hit points as a maximum. Which is pretty decent. Bro. I want to see everyone with like 7,000 and then Realm with 50,000 hit points. Well, I think it maxes out at 9999, so... Speaking of which, though, I think I will pop her off to Toronto for now. We're cutting her off. She's had too much gelato. Toronto has some good spells. I mean, Porter is, is, is good, and I think he's the only one that teaches it. Question is, what do we want to throw her at? Oh yeah, we'll give her magic power. That's what she needs. More magic power. Now Realm looks like she's backing away from the fight, saying, no, 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 no. It's funny, Final Fantasy VI was the first game where you could start to regularly do... You know, 9,999 damage per hit. And it started the, the very annoying... Um, what would you call it? The very annoying trend of Final Fantasy games just demanding that you have more hits in a spell that do, you know, 9,999 damage. Which I think they held up until... up until 8. Yeah. It, was it longer than that? Was it ten where you could do more than nine, more than ten thousand damage in a hit? I don't know. Some of it just got kind of crazy, or it's like, or it's like the only thing you were really looking at in a lot of games in the uh, PlayStation era yeah. was the red bar because every all the numbers were like one hundred and ten thousand hit points, and you're like level five. I remember Blue Dragon being a bit refreshing in that respect when it came out on uh, Xbox. Or Xbox 360 or whatever it was. I don't think I ever played Blue Dragon. It was a pretty fun game. I 
I actually went looking for it the other day, and there's like there's no remake of it anywhere that I was able to find. I think it just came out on the Xbox 360, and that's the only place you can play it. There are a bunch of games like that. It's all right. Someone will re remake them eventually. They always do. get an economizer, but I'm not interested in doing multiple episodes of just fighting, um, Tyrannosaurs over and over again. Welcome to the Koranic Tyrannosaur Endurance Challenge. <laughs> no, I mean, what I might do is, um, I might, I might just do it offline and be like, yep, here's an economizer. Do it offline, but record, like, Record it as you're doing it, and then when you get to the point where you actually play the brachiosaur and yeah, kill yeah. it, just just like do like the two minute battle. <laughs> yeah, that, your... that's one way. That's one way to do it. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of and, and just call the video something like it took me six hours. Yeah. I'll just put a, the name of the video will be per, a percentage. <laughs> Why is this video called 2%? You guess the percentage of time that I spent um, in this that, that this video was compared to how long I actually spent doing what it wanted me to do. Are you sure there's brachiosaurs in this area? This is the only place where they are, yeah. That answers that. And I've already fought a couple of them. It's, it's, it's this dragon head shaped forest. It's the only place where Tyrannosaurs and Brachiosaurs show up. I, I mean, I guess that looks like a dragon head if you're talking about the dragon after you kill it in the old Atari Adventure game. Yeah, exactly like that. Realm now has nearly 5,000 points. Good god. From every outside perspective of this forest, people think that there's just giant nuclear explosions going off over and over. Well, so the only civilization nearby is Gao's crazy father. So it's entirely possible that this had a hand in making him insane. Oh my god, we're level... <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll give it ten more minutes and we'll see what happens in ten minutes of this. And then if that is done, we'll go up. Uh, I'm probably gonna take Kefka's Tower in a couple of different steps. So we'll probably start Kefka's Tower today. Well, I can tell you this much. You will be ready for any Tyrannosaurus that appear on the way. Yeah. I mean, this is the second party that I brought out here to fight Tyrannosaurs. Like, the only person who's in common from between the first party and the second party is Locke. And that was because I wanted to try to steal from the, from the Brachiosaurs. Well, you'll only be in trouble if you run into Jesse Ventura. No, I'm pretty sure Sabian can take out Jesse the Body Ventura. Not if he's a Tyrannosaur. I 
mean, he's not. We're talking about a guy who was in Sardoz. Well, I was making a Predator reference. I know. And I was making a Sardoz reference. <laughs> but, okay, well, we should make an Abraxas reference next, but I can't remember any. That's the only reference that you need for Abraxas, that no one can remember it. She broke 5,000. Alright, we're calling it. I realize I said 20, 30 minutes, but you know what? Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll switch parties out. And we'll uh, bring some other people out to do this. Gain them some levels. Because they could use it. Ah, crawlers. Do you remember creepy crawlers? I do, yes. Not enough hit points. Not enough hit points. <laughs> not enough hit points. Pretty much. Now we'll bring Saban along. Yeah. Like, we'll bring Setzer along. We'll bring Shadow along. And we'll bring Edgar along. Wait, who was I going to keep in the party? Lock? Just to steal? Yeah, probably. And to cast all who are you still missing, or is this everyone? I got everyone now. So the question is... I guess we'll give Shadow... I think we'll give Shadow the experience egg for now. Bismarck for some reason. Thanks to learn life in the most inefficient possible way. Look at Ragnarok. Sure. Uh, and Phoenix. He's still working on Phoenix. So yeah, we'll do ten more minutes of of uh, dinosaurs here. Make our first strike on Kefka's tower, I think. 
It's before, Dino Sauce time. It, it might be. It might be. Oh man, he has a Gradius spaceship. You've made that same joke about a couple of other people that have the same tent. And it's a different joke every time. Take it back, Dr. Grant. We had a T-Rex. It's dead now. It's very dead now. Shadow learned quick. He learned very fast. his hit points a bit. He seems like he doesn't have enough. And Shadow deserves some gelato. They should really just try biting you. I mean, they've got the teeth for it. I mean, they, they, they have they have a bite attack. It is very bad. There it is. <laughs> and Shadow is I down. I see. <laughs> yes. Chomp dead. It is extremely dangerous. that you still have the dragon horn. Okay. They're all like, yay! And Shadow's just like, ah, I'll be over here if anyone needs me. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, the problem with those pincher attacks is that if they hit you from behind, they do double damage. And Bite is just a crazy attack. To get There's nothing you can do about that. sucks, but, well, if we osmos him, he can only do it once. Shadow of us. Shadow the Experience Egg, so... I'm gonna make a mod of this game with a new with a new game plus where all the enemies become the underrated versions of themselves. What would that entail? I don't know, the Tyrannosaur joins your party, but then like, picks one character and kills off the rest of your party.
It's a plan that needs a bit of work. The plan needs work, the implementation needs work, the... <laughs> Pretty much everything needs work, I just wanted to have a Yandere Tyrannosaur in the party. I feel like it's not necessary. I feel like it's too much. Probably not. And then you can't win the game because your party never gets experience, because every time you're in a fight, the Tyrannosaur just beats the bad guys. It just doesn't sound like a very fun game to play. It's funny because there are people that do um, low-level playthroughs of this game. For a game like this, where the um, difficulty doesn't scale with level at all, it's, um, I don't know, it's just very, it seems like a very, uh, very frustrating thing to do. There's a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands, and... That's what makes Twitch and YouTube enjoyable. Sometimes. Maybe. I like how we have Edgar doing his jump every time and he rarely ever bothers to come down. He's just tired of all these Tyrannosaurs. I guess he could avoid Meteor this way. What caused the dinosaurs to go extinct? Oh, it was four jerkwads looking for a brachiosaur. We don't even really want the Brachiosaur, we just want the Economizer that the Brachiosaur has. For some reason. It's really good. If I get one, and you see what it does, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's a really good item. <laughs> I wasn't suggesting the item wasn't good, I was suggesting that it was weird that a Brachiosaur had one. Well, I mean, why do you think they went extinct? It was economic? They had, they had too many good items, and they, they grew complacent. Fun Flare, Shadowy in a level. Almost 200 hit points that level. Still not incredible, but not bad. There's gotta be one more Brachiosaur to fight. It's crazy. No, you only get two shots at it, and if you don't get the Economizer, that's it. I mean, you know, Final Fantasy games have done less vexatious things. I'm not going to say that it's, that's an impossibility. But the last one I fought sneezed us away, so it, it still exists in the world somewhere. Do you think they put the Brachiosaur sneeze in Jurassic Park because of this game? I, I wish this game had that level of... American culture. As it was, it was a it was an $80 cartridge that came out in 95, 94, 
94, I think. And, like, you know, people that knew what it was got it, but... Nobody else did. May well, wait, when did... When did... When did Jurassic Park come out? It was two years after, I think. 96. Really? Because I was going to say, it would almost make more sense that the Brachiosaur having a sneeze was based on Jurassic... Wait! Does that... Okay, stupid question. I haven't read the book Jurassic Park in a long time. D d d d no. No, it doesn't happen in the book? Okay. No, it doesn't. That's too bad. But I was going to say, I mean, you might have been onto something there, where it was like... Oh wait, Jurassic Park is 1993. Oh! So it might very well be a reference to the movie. That's just that's exactly the kind of thing that the that the Japanese game makers would have put in there at that time. I think we just created a new internet conspiracy theory. I love their pop culture references, right? Like, they have Biggs and Wedge from Star Wars. That's entirely possible. Yeah. I always thought this game came out before uh, Jurassic Park. But, er, yeah. I mean, I guess there was a Jurassic Park game on the NES, so it was definitely contemporary. Was there? Yeah, yeah there was. I never... Definitely a late-run NES game, because the Super Nintendo was well out by that time. I didn't realize that there was a Jurassic Park game for the NES. I've never seen it before. It wasn't very fun. Well, I mean, I, I remember the Genesis one, and I remember... The, the horror that was the Super Nintendo one. Well, you know what? That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna find Edgar's last tool. It's buried in the heart of a Brachiosaur. I mean, it might be in Kefka's tower, in which case... That's where we need to go anyway, but... weapon is an air anchor. I... I don't remember. It's been so dang long. You know, that forest actually looks like someone curled up in the fetal position. Which what does? The forest. I mean, you could you could read a lot of things into it. Given the sheer numbers of tyrannosaurs in this forest, I'm not surprised that there's very few brachiosaurs. Yeah, there's a lot of predators around. But it's really weird that you bump into them, because you would think that 
you would be seeing them casting meteor in the distance or something. Well, they only they only cast it in response to um, you know people. Bipedal creatures. Yeah. Time has come at last. And you'll be sneezed away. I hope not. It's another one of those things that's like totally hidden in a random crazy place. Wait, this isn't a Brachiosaur, this is just a Brachosaur. Ooh. Oh, we stopped him. Stop. He didn't stop at all. In that world. He must be immune to stop. That's crazy. There so he can do a steal, but oh god, he's casting disaster. What's that doing? It okay, that's that's bad. I don't think Locke's gonna be stealing anything. I yeah, we, we might actually lose this fight. Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, we have life three. And he sneezed us. But he didn't sneeze Edgar! <laughs> Edgar's still in it. We still got this. But Edgar's not jumping at the enemy. Edgar's just doing weird stuff to himself. That's fine. It's entertaining me. And Edgar's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this creature so strong? <laughs> I don't know. The imps look like, eh, it's a living. Give him the imp armor. Do it. Nah, it's not. I already did it. There's no point doing it again. Dang it, I want to get one more person ultimate. Yeah, we're almost there. We'll, we'll get Ultima for Edgar and then we'll uh, move on. I know I said 10 minutes, but it'll be a little longer than that. experiencing a world unlike anything anyone has ever seen. Is that what happens when you jump high up in the air and then level up? That's what happens when you read a book. See, there's butterflies in the sky, but Edgar can go twice as high. I see.
And then he can come back down and impale a Tyrannosaurus. Twice. Channeling his Reiki to Yu Yu Hakusho levels of power. Also, a dog just took out a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. That was weird. It said that it did like 3,700 damage to Shadow, but it didn't do any, and then, and then Interceptor finished off the creature. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. It worked out in my favor. Interceptor intercepted the damage as well, and Interceptor has like 500,000 hit points. Hey Ted Bob, how's it going? Somehow they were mortal enemies even before we domesticated dogs. Don't ask questions. Well, first the dogs trained against bears in that weird bears versus dogs anime, and then the dogs became powerful enough to fight dinosaurs. I guess. Brachiosaur was like, look, you guys want to fight me? I'm not dealing with that guy. I mean, it's better than him sneezing the whole party away. You know? It just, it just is. Ooh, and we blocked Swing. And what? Wow. Okay. We might get it! We got him! Okay, 5,000 experience points, 10 magic points, shadow levels, no economizer. Okay, um, <laughs> great. Well, I don't know, is our work here done then? <laughs> I think I'll do it off, offline. What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get some uh, goodies. Um, I'll fight just one, you know, just a little bit more to try to get um, Edgar Ultima. And then we'll move on, we'll get the air anchor. And we'll um, uh, check and see if we can get another scene with uh, Shadow. And then we'll, we'll move on. I've already been at this for almost an hour. It's okay, we got a lot of dinosaur jokes in. Yeah. And, and, we, and we apparently discovered that the reason that the Brachiosaur might have the sneeze attack is because of the movie Jurassic Park. I mean, I, I don't want to over, over overstate the value of that deduction. It's quite high. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's actually right. It probably is. I'm, 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 I'm a little surprised, but uh, the connection is there.
step one. Let's see. I think we need to visit inns with Shadow in the party. So we'll do that first. Which completely invalidates the tent I just used. I don't know if there's an inn in Thamasa. It? Hey, here's a dude. Sepia Town. During the past year, I've traveled the world over. Want to hear some of my stories? Sure. North of the Velta's small triangular tra tra island. Quite a story. Do, 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 do. There's that triangular island. Okay. Yeah, we've been there. It's home to a monster that can suck up an entire ocean. What might happen if it sucked you inside? That much I don't know. Well, we know. Oh, that's his only story? Okay. I thought maybe he might have additional stories if, if we asked him again, but apparently not. This is where we got Gogo. -Go. This is the hint to get Gogo. -Go. Let me mentally project this map into your mind. Did you get all that? Did you see that? Let's say no. Nothing happens. Alright. One GP. Alright, we'll take it. And it looks like no scene with Shadow here. Which is okay. There's one in if you uh, if you do that shadow gets up out of bed, stabs the other members of the party, and just vanishes. Well, no. So so what we've been doing is we've been getting um, he has flashbacks if if you go to inns. Inside the air, airship, she says something about. I think I. She says something like, "I think I know what General Leo meant," or something like that. So I was thinking we can bring Terra over here to his grave, and maybe there's a cutscene. I can't remember. Isn't that here? That's a very fast airship. It is. Mesosaur. Okay, well. They're just running away. Yeah, they don't have They're way less dangerous than Sopranosaurs. Right. 
it as a flashback. I think we've seen this flashback before. You gotta love that one soldier that's just like, like, freaking out over on the, over on the right. <laughs> just in case. Put Sensor in the back ranks so that he doesn't take massive damage. I could swear there was an inn in this town. But maybe there isn't. Oh no, here it is. It's up there, inaccessible to people that would visit. It's just not very convenient for tourists. Though admittedly there aren't very many tourists in the world of ruin. Oh, here we go. Open your eyes. I'm scared. Hack cough. Is this my blood? You're gonna be okay. I've let you down, I'm sorry. Save your strength. We're almost at two town. They'll have an inn. For a few hundred gold we can heal all wounds. I've lost too much blood. Use your knife. Oh no. Think what they'll do to me if I get caught. I don't want to go through that. Do me this favor. Are you shaking? I can't believe it. You're acting like a coward. Grab a knife and... I can't. Clyde! I'm sorry. And then he goes off. Clyde, how dare you? Oh, what a great dream. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, you still get your hit points back. That's all that matters. I actually don't remember how many scenes of like that there are, but there's... I think that's the third one we've seen. There might be one more. I'd have to look it up. But I guess we can try all the inns in the world and see what happens. See that tower? You mean Kefka's tower? Shh! Don't say his name! I've decided to call this town T Zen. You know, none of these inns are very convenient. I mean, they only have four beds in them. Yeah. Well, the beds are only in use when the party visits, so, you know. That's why we're only allowed to have four characters in the party. Because all inns are designed to handle only four people. Four people coming off the airship. Hey, we're going to fight Tyrannosaurs. Anyone else want to come? No? Nobody? We can't. We are contractually bound to not do so. Man, these enemies aren't too bad. Sensor, why aren't you equipped with anything? Setzer and not re-equip him? I must have, huh? Oh man, that's funny. Hold on. Maybe that's why he only has 3,000 hit points. Well, equipment doesn't affect your hit points. But it does affect how much damage you take. And whether or not you have any relics equipped. I already showed off coin toss. 
Dragons don't wear boots. It's a dragoon. Which for some reason is what they call like spear fighters in the Final Fantasy world. No one knows why. more. And this isn't the Masa. I think. It looks like the Masa. Stay with me now. Where am... This is a small village called the Ma Hang in there. that we're all having the same dream? Wait, are we? Uh-oh. Which one of us is Clyde? <laughs> can't restore his HP after battle. Just keep fighting him in a time you'll defeat him. And yeah, we already did. Lights out! No scene there. And I think I did this earlier, but there's that painting of the Emperor. I'm pretty sure I already checked it out, but I could be wrong. Didn't it, it, I think it gave me a clue to something that I didn't need, or that I already had. Oh no, it like dropped a... There was a letter or something that it dropped. Uh, I can't remember. Dang it! What I think it's. Was... art gallery bonuses. Well, like, there's that guy in the Colosseum or somewhere who says, Talk to the Emperor twice. And I was like, What? Talk to the Emperor twice? I don't even know where we would find the Emperor. And then I was like, Oh, maybe it's here. And then there's a thing and it gives you a hint that I think I already solved by the time I looked at it. I'll have to double check. <clears throat> Let's see, there's an in here. Thank you for flying, Air Setzer. Remember, if you need to take a nap or something, we'll just uh, fly you to an inn because you can't sleep on this ship. Nope. I'll throw you off. I 
back in the day, inns would get gradually more expensive as you progress through the through the game, like in like Dragon Warrior or whatever. All of these are pretty close in, in price though, so. I don't think we can use the inn at uh, Narsh anymore. I think that whole town is basically dead. I like the games where the more experienced you are, the higher level you are, they charge you more at the end. Like, they can look at you and know how good you are at things. Yeah. You can make that work narratively, but it, it is a little different. I don't even know what you're fighting. There's no rabbit there. No, no, there, there are no rabbits. Like, no drama. They have those masks and everything. But there's no rabbit there. There's a no rabbit there. That's what I said. I like how there's a sign telling you that there there's an inn in the building that's an inn. Well, I mean, the game doesn't have enough like detail to tell you, um, like by just by looking at a building what's in it. So. gonna run into slam dancers here? We'll run into some characters that have the same sprites as slam dancers. Come for the slamming, stay for the dancing. Come for the slamming, stay for the jamming. No, 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 those are slam jammers, not to be confused with slam dancers. But that's practically what they're there for, is to be confused with slam dancers. No, slam jammers have guitars. Some of them do. Maybe. I might be thinking of um jammers named Lammy. Oh. That's an understandable mistake. No, I don't want to fight. Well, of course it hits that sir. here don't drop any experience for whatever reason. So apparently there's a hidden switch. Yeah. You're just supposed to know that. Or find it. Merton? Really? Come on, guys. 
<laughs> so your name is level 90 magic. Yeah, the enemies are all named like what level they are and magic in this dungeon for whatever reason. I like how they just nuked Setzer. Yeah, you see it opens up a door right below it. And inside this door... Oh man, is it time to get over it? I hope not. Wow, really? I guess those things just use elixirs on your party every once in a while. Edgar in the party, so we can use it once we get out of this stupid tower. Alright, let's find out what an anchor of the air can do. It's a loop token. It cocks loop tokens. this was the place with the one where he was by the tree. Well, he was in the dream, by the tree. But that was when we were resting in a different city. We were resting in Zen, I think. Economizer. Well, no, I said I was going to give it a certain amount of time to do that and then give up if it took longer than that. So we gave it the appropriate amount of time. Um, I mean, I said it to you in this, in, the, in this episode that there was one other thing I wanted to do. I only remember shadows, dreams, and the maybe, air. Maybe anger. that was it. Maybe that was it. Okay. 
Oh, you wanted to get Edgar Ultima. Oh yeah, well I did that too, so... Alright, first assault on Kefka's Tower. We're going in. It's time to break into Kefka's Domain. Setzer's like, what's wrong? Sells is like, is this a good idea? Are we just gonna get killed? The statues give the espers the magical energy they need to live. If we destroy the statues... Solace doesn't know. Well, Terra will die. The Espers and Magic 2 will most definitely disappear from the world. And then... What will happen to Terra? Yeah, that's the question, right? So for they this, just gloss over it. I'm sure it'll be fine. She'll be fine. No, so you have to make three groups for uh, this run. This is another really cool area. You got these spotlights going around. You got the, everything's all kind of like got this trash heap feel to it. Statues are overhead. Divide into three groups. Use Y button to switch between them. Oh, and I, oh, this could be bad. Uh, I didn't equip people. Most people are equipped. Double ult on these guys, that should take care of them. Wow. HP Lovecraft presents Kefka's Tower. Wait, they're doing a few hundred damage per. That's nothing. Even to Setzer, that's nothing. <laughs> oh, what? Nifty. Someone else cast Ultima. Haymaker. That should do it. No, it still doesn't. Oh no, it does. Okay. Jeez. So enemies here drop experience, they drop magic points, they drop gold. So, this is a good place to level, too. I guess it better be, because it's the end of the friggin' game. But I guess I better make sure everybody's equipped. And surprisingly, everyone in this party is equipped. Success rate of control. It's for realm. So we can get off of the thing by clicking on this thing, uh, which is good. We don't want to be stuck here forever. But we can give her a very special helmet for herself. 
She still got the cursed shield, so... I don't know if we'll actually manage to, f to do the cursed shield in this playthrough or not. I guess if I bring... If I do Tyrannosaurus offline, I'll bring Rumble Rum along and try to get the cursed shield fixed. What if the cursed shield is perfect just the way it is? It's not. Trust me. Yeah, we should probably try stealing from some of these enemies, too. Red cap. I think we already have a bunch of those. Yeah, we do. That's pretty good. You lose two defense points, but you gain a bunch of, uh, uh like, attribute points. It's not a bad trade-off. We've got two doors here. is correct. And then, uh, Mog is not equipped. We can give him a nice spear. An imp halberd? No. Um, it, it's only good if I imp him. I'm not gonna imp him. He's super weak on, uh, Brought the Yeti. I, hate, I mean, Umaro is good, but not great. The thing, the thing is that you don't want characters that you can't control in the party for the most part. They have to be overwhelmingly good. You can't control him? No. He just attacks constantly. He's permanent, permanent berserk. Oh look, it's Bruntors. Life Shaver? Oh, that's horrible. He's dead. Or no, not quite. But they can just do it over and over again. Great. This might be one of the most annoying enemies ever. The 
the Brontors in your party and just keep, like, shaving back and forth. Well, it would be really cool to actually go back to the Velt and get Brontors for Dao. Because Life Shaver is incredibly good. Minerva. Ooh, Minerva. That is... Your Nerva, my Nerva. I thought it was a weapon. I, I, I might be completely off base. Oh, it's armor. It's very good armor that Celis can use. And probably Terra? Vago's taking a nap. Yeah, he's down. It's those, it's those darn, uh, it's to kill attacks. Shown off the air anchor yet, either. There's so much to do. I mean, the air anchor's not as good as all. Someone it is. To Edgar it is. Huh. 
always feels like there's gonna be uh, a secret passage or something. Deal with? Let's see if we can get the air anchor to work. Air anchor. Evil on Oscar. Front one. Okay. And it missed. Do you think there's just a regular Oscar that you come across? I He's a lot is. nicer. I'm pretty sure there is. That would really suck. Sensor's still kind of low level, isn't he? Maybe that. Maybe that's what. It, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. It's enough, Edgar. You got him. He's dead. Thank it's you. okay. Edgar is impaling robots from the air. Yeah, maybe the fixed dice get better as Sensor levels up. That is actually a possibility. I don't know why they would, but that might be the thing that happens. Taxstar. Tax stars are really good throwing stars for uh, for shadow, but they're but they're so rare that they're kind of almost not worth getting. Maybe tech stars are the weapon to use on uh, Brachiosaurs. I don't think so. They're just extra powerful. Oh, look at that. We've got someone to fight over there.
I hate insta-kill abilities. If they gave me enough items to cancel out insta-kill abilities, I would just cancel them all out. Now that monster in the bathroom over there... Oh no! Oh crap! What? Ah oh, shoot, I missed it. That was a dragon, wasn't it? It might have been, yeah, I'm not sure. Now I don't remember. All I remember is that I, that it was a really hard fight, and uh, now I... Is that thing called Steroidite? Yes. And it plays Rush to distract you? No, it casts Blizzard to distract us. And it doesn't do any damage. Well, that means we do have to get the heck out of here. We do have to fight that. Oh, I, I'm not using... Oh, I confound it. Hold on. We're gonna use this. Come on, Cyan. I know you're slow, but it's Cyan time. That's what we need. <laughs> I just love the offering Genji love combination. It's just so good. He's learning tree talk right now. Gives him magic power, but really he should be using Raiden so he can get more strength, do more physical damage. Oh, fight some junk. What they one self-destructed to heal another one. Now one of them explodes. Do minor damage to what? I don't know what any of that was. That's bizarre. Someone's got a lot to answer for for the security system. Yeah, right? So, what does this security robot do? Does it, like, defend us from you know, enemy attacks? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, not at all. No. No, what it does is it explodes, and then it heals another one of its friends, and then its friend explodes. And this, but, but by exploding, it stops the intruders. No, 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 the intruders are far stronger than the explosion caused by these creatures. I mean, at best. At, at best, best, at it best might they have to cast them the enough. Healings. Yeah. <laughs> at best, it gives you an extra turn while they cast a healing spell. It's basically to alert you to their presence, you know, by exploding really loudly. Yes. Nope. <sighs> Modeled life. And everyone else was still trying to figure it out. It's Atma. I am Atma. Left here since birth. Forgotten in the river of time. I've had an eternity to ponder the meaning of things. Now I have an answer. Just kidding, I'm actually Ultros. Well, I mean, the thing about it, right, is that... Is that... I mean... This tower hasn't been here since the beginning of time. So what's he talking about? And I don't think this is one of the dragons, actually. Atma's probably just messed up from eating a bunch of steroid eggs. Could be.
not so bad. But if he counters Ultima with something that does a lot of damage, that might be bad. He doesn't counter Ultima with anything significant. Okay. Then we'll cast it again. We got him. I remember this fight being harder than this. I pondered the great meaning of everything in the universe. Uh, I'm done. Lost in the flow of time. He didn't even drop anything useful. What did, what did we get? Oh, he just creates a save point. Really? We fought Atma for that? <laughs> Poor Atma. Jeez. Atma, you're silly. Save it here. Does this get us out? It does. Okay, so we have confirmed that we can get out of Kefka's tower or whatever we want as well. Good to know. <laughs> well, I think we're at what? One hour and 40 minutes or so? So I think we'll probably call it here for tonight. We've seen our first glimpse of Kefka's tower. Setzer is the only person in the party for some reason. Um, so we'll have to fix that. <laughs> yeah, he left everyone else behind. <laughs> yeah. But but Celis is the one that cast warp. Yeah, yeah, she she didn't make it. What do you mean she didn't make it? <laughs> so Imara just does normal attacks in Berserker mode then, right? Basically, yeah. That's all he can do. So what happens if you give him a Genji Glove and an offering? I, I don't... Uh... Well, you can't give him a Genji Glove because he can't equip weapons. Um... Oh. But you could give him the offering. That might actually work. Actually, we can try that real quick. I mean, that's a really good question. That would be a great way to just finish out the last ten minutes of this episode. Be like, hey Umaro, we're gonna give you a really good item. First off, we need set. Well, we need cyan. So let's see, cyan, uh, Umaro, um, shadow, sensor. All right. So if we take cyan's offering and swift swap them out with a uh, just a hyper risk, we'll be fine, right? You know the game better than I do. And then we can go over... Okay, so Umaro can't even... Oh, okay. We'll give him an offering and see what happens. Alright. Umaro, you have an offering. Make good use of it. Or don't. And tell us that you, you don't need it anymore. We'll just see what he does. Alright, tomorrow's ready to go. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Yes, it does work. Okay. Nice. The thing, though, is that some of tomorrow's attacks involve throwing other party members, and so I'm not sure whether, um... Does he do that four times? He doesn't do that four times. So he does lose some efficacy there. Ah, I see. So he, he's not a good place to That seems to be his power attack, so yeah, he, he needs an item that boosts that. Well, that's what the Rage Ring does. But I can give him a Hyper Wrist. Alright, we will save here, we will call it for tonight, I will do some dinosaur hunting this week, and next week we will hopefully have an economizer or two, have some people much more leveled up, and uh, we'll start taking on Kefka's Tower in serious mode next time. So let's well, see. Well, in, in, in economic mode. 
Well, in economizer mode, yeah. Let's Next see. week, we'll economize. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't need to. It's, it's an optional item. We'll, we'll survive without it, but yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully have one or two of them. And let's see, Wednesday we've got Noida, Friday we've got Darkest Dungeon, and uh, Monday more of this. So, let's see. Yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for joining in, Sin Dark Body. You got it. Uh, and uh, we'll see you all next time.